All right, you scallywags, back with another video. If I am getting engaged to a girl and she or her family ask if I will get a second wife or if she wants to put in her contract, no second wife, what's the best way to respond? Do I just say yes or jokingly say yes, basically lie? Because I don't think any woman likes the idea of sharing. Well, I can tell you what, other, what all women don't also like the idea of and that is lying. So your boy Mahdi is here to answer your question as per usual. Mahdi Tijani, back with another one. If you don't know who I am, where have you been? Living under a rock? Hit that like, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons! Put a comment, we love you Mahdi! It's 2005, December 2005. And I'm in the living room of my about, my about to be wife, her family, my family. We're all there in the living room. And the brother conducted the nikah. He is about to begin the ceremony. I'm 16 years old, mind you. And me, being the simpass brother that I was at that time, <laughs> I'm 16, allow me, innit? I turn around to the imam and I say to him, by the way, I would like to put... Nobody brought this up. Yeah, literally nobody brought this up. But there's me, Simp Mahdi, and I'm like, I'd like to put in the nikah contract that I cannot marry again. Such was the degree to which I was infatuated with about with my wife to be or with the about my wife to be whatever that I wanted to voluntarily cut my own private parts off. The imam, <laughs> may Allah reward him, who actually happened to have two wives of his own at that time, he nudged me like this and he whispered, I don't even know what he said, bro. He was like, <laughs> like, shut up, you idiot. You infatuated idiot, be quiet. And I didn't say anything. I didn't bring it up again. Nor did any of the families clock it. And in fact, if they see this video, this is the first time they're going to be hearing this ever. Even my own family didn't know this. This is like a, a private thing between me and the brother. Allah protected me, subhanAllah. Because I said it out loud and nobody heard it. Anyways, and I share that story with you so that you know that your boy once upon a time was a bit simpy, I can't lie. But I excuse and allow myself because I was 16 years old. So allow me. The reason why you are asking me, young man, if the wife-to-be, your wife-to-be, puts this in the contract, what's the best way to respond is twofold. Number one, you know deep down in your heart you are, that you at least want to be able to have the option of polygyny at some point in the future, although most men never will. You want to be able to have that option at least. And number two, because you're scared of fumbling the bag with this sister. So you're like, Mehdi, how can I have my cake and eat it? I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, okay? A, if they do bring it up, you absolutely cannot lie. You must tell the truth, emphatically and unequivocally. But there is a way to go about doing it, and it's as follows. You make light of it. So, brother, do you, um, are you considering, or do you know, do you think you'll ever get a second wife? If Me? Get a second wife? Of course I'm going to get a second wife at some point. Obviously, it's Mahdi. Man like Mahdi, you get me? Big man thing, what are we talking about? Anyways, but what have you got prepared for dinner? You make light of it. And I'm reminded of Arabic saying, amran amran Whoever makes light of an affair, so it shall be received. And whoever makes a big deal out of an affair, so it shall be received. And the less effort you put into answering this question and you make light of it, like, yeah, duh, the sky's blue. Like, who would put effort into saying, trying to convince someone that the sky is blue. Nobody. That's what you want to do when you respond to this question if they bring it up. As little effort and be as playful with it as possible. The more serious your answer, the more you hesitate, the more nervous you are, the more shifty you get. Uh, well, you know, uh, I mean, it is something that I was, I mean, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I mean, I would absolutely like to at least have that. Now you're making a big deal out of it. Man kebbara emran fayakbar. Whoever makes big, whoever makes a big deal out of something, so it shall be received. So now this comes down to the nuance of emotional energy and how you convey, not what you say, but how you convey it. The energy with which you are transmitting into the next person. This is not a fail safe or a guarantee that it will save your hide. It merely increases the chances of you being able to have your cake and eat it. But if they press you and they're like, well, you know what? If you want a second wife, you can't have my daughter. Or if the girl turns around and says to you, you know what, if you want a second wife, you can't marry me. If you really are serious about this, that's when you detach yourself from the outcome. And you'd be like, you know what, fine. 
Ma'asalama Rohi. Never once since I have leaned into polygyny and accepting it for better or for worse, whether she likes it or not, have I had a problem with women accepting it also. Women who are, you would think, are the most anti polygyny, the moment they talk to Mahdi, all of that melts away. You know why? Because of the way that I present myself. I infect them with this energy of, man, I can't afford to bottle this one. And this is all it comes down to. And let's move it away from me for a second. Imagine the most anti-polygynous woman in the world. She's so jealous she can't imagine or bear the thought of polygyny. But then you tell her, what are you saying about being Habib Namagamid of second wife? You down for it? What are you saying about being Islam Makhach of second wife? You down for it? Uh, Andrew Tate's Muslim now. What are you saying about being Andrew Tate's second wife? You down for it? See what that woman says. Which brings me to my next point, and that is women make rules for men they don't rate and break them for men they do. Your job is to become a man that she rates. Now, if you're a young man watching this video, you're in your late teens, you're in your 20s, you have yet to come into your prime and it's going to be difficult for you to conduct yourself with the level of panache necessary to be able to pull this off. And the Mahdi of 10 years ago, 24 years old, is not the same as the Mahdi of 34 years old. And this is just the way it goes for a man. Particularly if you've been putting in the work, you will mature like a fine wine. And you'll come into your prime, especially 30s. Like I thought it was good in my 20s. Bro, 20s has got nothing on your 30s. Let me tell you that for free. If you've been doing the work and putting in that effort on yourself, on your, your business, on your mind, your deen, your Quran, everything, holistically, 20s has nothing on your 30s, bro. I can't lie to you. Like, 30s is amazing, man. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And, and that at least has been my experience. And if you're, a man, if you're a man in your 30s and that has not been in your experience, then I suggest you hit that link in the description and watch that video right now. And so to conclude, say it with your chest. If they press you on it, make light of it. If they continue to press you on it, detach yourself from the outcome. Your risk is with Allah. Your job is to do your job. And your job is also to not deceive others in the process of doing your job. Don't forget that. Keep it 100 for better or for worse. And Allah will give you your haqq. You, it will hit you. It will reach you whether you like it or not. And the question I've been asked so many times is, Mehdi, I'm married. I want to get married again. Even rich people ask me this, bro. You know what, yeah? So rich people have some of the worst women problems. I am. I kid you not. Because they have more money to make their problems worse. It's crazy. But the amount of times that I've been asked, Mehdi, I have a wife. I want to get married again. But I don't know how to go about doing it. Then I suggest you watch this video right here of how I got my wife to accept new wives.